Hillary Clinton is done running for office, and her final race still haunts her. The former presidential candidate on Sunday swore off any future bids for public office as she continued reckoning with her surprise defeat in the election she expected to win. Sunday on CBS This Morning, former presidential candidate Hillary Clinton said she would never run for office again. Her vow shoots down speculation from this year that Clinton might mount a future campaign for national office or a mayor of New York City. I am not done with politics because I literally believe that our country's future is at stake, she said. Clinton, 69, is spending the next few weeks promoting her book, which hits stores on Tuesday and tells the tale of her stunning upset by Donald Trump. In early excerpts from the book, she has admitted some campaign mistakes while still throwing blame on a series of factors, Russian hacking, James Comey, Bernie Sanders, that she blames for her loss. Clinton struck the same defiant tone on Sunday, admitting that the defeat remains very painful for her. The forces that were at work in 2016 were unlike anything that I've ever seen or read about, she said. It was a perfect storm. She still copped to some crucial errors on the campaign trail, the biggest being her failure to acknowledge what made so many Americans so angry. I understood that there were many Americans who, because of the financial crash, there was anger, she said. But I believe that it was my responsibility to try to offer answers to it, not to fan it. I think, that it was a mistake because a lot of people didn't want to hear my plans. They wanted me to share their anger. And I should have done a better job of demonstrating I get it. Her harshest remarks, though, are still saved for her opponent. After keeping relatively quiet about Trump's leadership so far, Clinton on Sunday blasted him for running a reality show campaign with little preparation for the presidency. He ends up in the Oval Office. He says, Boy, it's so much harder than I thought it would be. This is really tough. I had no idea, she said. Well, yeah, because it's not a show. It's real. It's reality for sure. Clinton, who was widely expected to become the first female president, said Trump bested her by falling back on nostalgia that appealed to millions of white people. She said she saw the come through in his inauguration address, which was a nightmare for her to attend. I'm a former first lady, and former presidents and first ladies show up, she said. It's part of the demonstration of the continuity of our government. And so there I was, on the platform, feeling like an out-of-body experience. And then his speech, which was a cry from the white nationalist gut.